Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to use package lists on Ubuntu. We are going to use three tools, dpackage, apt, and diff. In a previous video, we set up our Jetson to boot from an external drive. In the last part of the video, we add packages on the Jetson to replicate a SDK manager install. To accomplish this, the question becomes, which packages does the SDK manager install beyond that of the default Ubuntu distribution. We're over here on our Xavier NX. We've just booted off the SD card. That's the full Jetpack installation. Let's list out the packages. We can use apt for that. Like most terminal commands, apt has help associated with it. Here's the most used commands. List the packages, search for them, show the package details. Things of that nature. Oh, apt has super cow powers. Mm -hmm. Password. Now this is a list of all the available packages in our current configuration. We can also use apt to list the installed packages. It gives us a little bit of information about what's installed. The package name, version number, things like that. Let's grab that. We can get some of the package control information. Probably most importantly, it tells us what the dependencies are. Here's the libraries. G++, CLang, CMake. Things like that. That's useful when you're trying to install a package, of course. But this installed list, it's a little wordy for our purposes. Let's use dpackage. dpackage has help also. It's a little bit more comprehensive. We'll get the currently installed packages. A little less wordy. Let's save them to a file. And we'll call it SD card packages. Our file happens to be there. Okay, I'm going to shut the Jetson down, remove the SD card, and then reboot it using the SSD. Okay, I've booted off the SSD, which has the base Ubuntu distribution. I inserted the SD card. Let's create a work directory. Switch over to that directory. Let's take a look at that directory in the file browser. Let's open up our work directory. And let's open up our SD card. Here's the two files we created. Let's drag them over here. Okay, before we get too far along, let's update our package list. Pseudo apt update. Password. Now let's use dpackage to list our installed packages. Let's store that to a file. Now we are going to use the utility diff, which will tell us the differences between the SSD and the SD card versions. Minus Y side by side. We will suppress what they have in common. And this is kind of what we expect. We're missing CUDA. With our package list, of course, we could just apt install each one of these lines and we'd be okay. CUDNN, LiveOpenCV, VisionWorks, and so on. Let's search for CUDA first. Hmm, there's a lot of stuff here. So here's our friends, CUDA toolkit, tools, things like that. 
This looks interesting. The NVIDIA CUDA Meta Package. I wonder what that is. It's a Meta Package. That means it contains other packages to install. It has a bunch of conflicts. It doesn't like 10-0, it looks like but installs CUDA Toolkit 10-2. So I wonder how far that will get us. Let's install it and find out. It installs a lot of stuff. Let's try that. Do you want to continue? Yes, please. Installation complete. Let's take a look at our original list again. List out the history, bang, 69. I'm going to be banned from YouTube now. Let's send that out to a file, diffy.txt. So 141 differences. We should have been able to get rid of quite a few of them with this CUDA bit. Let's send our comparison to diffy1.txt. We're down to 98. Got rid of quite a few of them there. So you can see that when we installed NVIDIA CUDA, a lot of our differences went away. So we're still missing quite a bit. We're missing VisionWorks, OpenCV, NVIDIA Container. Let's see if we can get lucky here and list out NVIDIA dash star. The star is a wildcard character. Let's see, container CUDA. We did that one. Uh, here's NVIDIA OpenCV, TensorRT, VisionWorks, VPI. So we could go one by one and install the ones we want. CUDNN. Hmm, NVIDIA Jetpack. Let's take a look at that one. Let's copy that. Why, this looks promising. Here's the dependencies. Here's our CUDA friend, OpenCV, TensorRT. All of our friends all in one package. Let's install that, that will just install everything. And just to be clear, you don't have to install NVIDIA dash Jetpack. You can just kind of pick and choose as you please. Let's install Jetpack. Do you want to continue? Yes, please. The installation complete. Okay, let's see how much closer we are now. Diffy 2. Okay, we can see that our list is a lot smaller now. It's about 25 lines. These, of course, don't make any difference. Okay, so my next guess would be the Live Vision Works repo were part of the build process for the SD card version and don't make any difference. We would probably need to install Python 3 VPI. And then it's the same process. You just go through and eliminate which ones that you think you need and which ones you don't. Let's take a look at the Justin Hacks repository. Install Justin defaults. Let's see. So we basically made sure we were on the Jetson. So it looks like we installed NVIDIA Jetpack. And then most of these packages over here. There might have been a more clever way to do it, but I'm not that clever.
Either that or my patience ran out. <laughs> and that's basically the process. In and of itself, a package list is useful. It is a list of all the packages that are installed in the system, which are basically the libraries and the applications. You can basically use a package list to build up a machine from scratch. Hey, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Oh, and stay safe.